What's up guys and welcome back to Mass Download Jailbreak Tweak where I show you the best tweaks for your device. In today's video I have a beautiful tweak that you must download. This tweak will allow you to rearrange and resize the control sensor modules to make it look and function just the way you want. As you see it will make certain modules two columns wide while maintaining their single single row appearance. Likewise the display brightness and volume controls take up several rows in height while maintaining their single column appearance appearance. You can ultimately do what you want with this tweak. Being able to change these parameters for various modules and controls in the control center interface makes it so that you can rearrange things into whatever layout that works for you. Fortunately, this is just one of the ways that jailbreaking can make your device feel more like your own. This tweak comes with a huge number of customization options, so now I'm gonna show you how to download and install the tweak. First, go ahead and open Zebra or sell your whatever you are using. I will open Cilio. Go to the sources here and make sure to add Havoc repo. Of course you will find the source below the video. After adding the repo, go to the search here and search for Sintra. And as you see, this is the tweak. Sintra tweak, as I said, designed to fit any layout. It allows you to customize the size of modules in the control sensor, including connectivity and other modules. With control sensor being one of the most used interfaces throughout the iOS user experience, it should come as no surprise that we see jailbreak tweaks developers trying to make it more convenient for users. With Sintra, you can resize the individual modules in the control sensor interface, making them easier to access, more controllable, and perhaps more tuned to your layout than they ever would have been out of the box. Sintra lets the user make certain modules two columns wide. The display brightness and volume controls take up several rows in height while maintaining their single column appearance. Okay, now just go ahead and install it. Hit install, press here. Now hit confirm. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna install it again. After installing the tweak, go to the home screen and open the settings to enable the tweak. Scroll down and open the tweak preferences. This is the tweak. All right, the first thing you are gonna do here is of course enable the tweak from here. Okay, this is the tweak. It has a few options to customize. I'm gonna quickly explain all these options. So the first one we have here is the connectivity module size. Here you can change the connectivity module size, height and width. You can change it to the way you like. I will change the height. I will change the height to three. Here you can change the Apple module size. I will change the height to three. Here you can change the brightness and volume module size. I will change the height to 3 in both. Okay, after making any changes, go ahead and respring your device to apply the changes. And as you see, the module size has been changed. That's pretty cool. It's now bigger than before. You can change it to match your liking. I will change it again. And as you see, that's it. You can easily change the module size to the way you like and it's pretty easy to use. This can make it really easy to use and access the modules you want in the control center. So this is the tweak. This tweak is really simple and beautiful. It makes the control center easy to use and resize it the way you want. You can easily rearrange and resize the control center modules to make it look and function just the way you want. I like this tweak and I would recommend you to give it a try. The repo is in the description below this video. Make sure to download and give this tweak a try. So guys, this is our video for today and as always if you enjoyed watching this video give it a like. Hit the subscribe button for more jailbreak tweaks videos and peace.